A car out of water. I pray this devil died and get every evil thing the Lord got to get. And listen, I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Call me out your holler. Call me out your holler. Call me out your I know you look at us in the state we in right now. Black people on drugs and we suffering and dying. And I know it seems like you can do whatever you want to this people. I know it seems like this. But the time for glorifying yourself is soon at an end. Shalom Israel, this is Officer Shawarya Allah of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, the home of the truth. And today, we're going to be bringing down some more scriptures, crushing some more lies, talk to us in this wicked society. And today's topic, we're just going to go into how this kingdom is falling as you're watching the news and everything with stuff going on in the Middle East and the things going on with Russia and all of that. All of this stuff is prophesied. All of this stuff has been told to the children of Israel to the people of the Lord for thousands of years, you understand, and we've been waiting on this glorious time, you know what I'm saying, in the earth where the Lord is doing what he promised and, and, and saving his people, all right, so we're going to bring it out in the scriptures, and to do that, we got to start out in uh, Job chapter 9 and verse 24, so we're going to go there first, and uh, bring this out in the spirit of Most High in Christ, all right, and so we're going to go to Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Straight into it. Job chapter 9 verse 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Alright, so why am I bringing this out? Alright, so that you understand. You understand that this is not no democracy. You understand like the white man is ruling this earth, man. Not just the United States. Not just Canada. Not just Europe. He's over in Africa. He's all everywhere on this earth, man. And that's why the scripture says way back in Job, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? One of the first white men to do it was Alexander the Great, and the Greek, you understand? He went through and tried to conquer every land that he could get his hands on, all right? And that's exactly what the white man is doing today, which is why there's so many, so many conflicts over the world because of his greed, because of his lies, all right? And so, like it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. He meaning that wicked man. And he is covering the faces of the judges. Who are the judges? The judges, you can find them here in the book. You understand? But those judges were the children of Israel. You understand? And they're going through, throughout all of Europe and all of Asia and wherever they could find any history and any proof that the real children of Israel are the so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Indians, and they are covering the faces with they whitewash and making and painting the pictures over white or this, that, or the other, telling this lie over here in Israel right now, calling themselves the Jews when they are the synagogue of Satan, like the scripture says, and we're going to bring that out as well. But as it says, that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, all right? If this ain't the wicked man, I don't know who is, man. If this white man ruling the earth and you see all this stuff, gay marriages, all these wars and rumors of war going on, if this ain't the wicked man, who and where is he, you understand? All right, so we're bringing it out to show who is running this world. In case some brothers and sisters don't know, we're going to get some more on it. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 16. Alright. We'll go to Proverbs chapter 16. Alright. Uh, Proverbs chapter 16 and starting at verse. Starting at verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Alright. So what you're seeing going on. You understand? You see in this argument, the, the so-called white man over there in Israel is going off talking about he's right for blowing up women and children out here. You understand? Because why? All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. What he's doing for his people is clean and righteous for him. But the Lord way of the spirits, all right? So the Lord ain't going by on the, the outside, the facade, the fake appearance, all right? He's going based on the spirits, all right? 
Okay. Commit thy works unto the Most High, and thy thoughts shall be established. All right. And this white man don't know nothing about committing his ways unto the Lord, because if he did, he'd give up his his wealth, his land, and all that, and give it to the people of the Lord. All right. And fall in line and be in place. But he ain't gonna do that. He hasn't been given to do that yet. You understand? The Lord says, "Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established." The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea. Even the wicked for the day of evil. All right. So the white man ain't coming to his senses yet. Why? Because the Lord made him for that. He made this wicked man who is ruling over the earth, like it says in Job, for the day of evil, for that Armageddon that everybody reads about, that everybody is waiting on, that the saints and the men of the Lord have been waiting on. All right. Um, everyone that is proud in, in heart is an abomination to the Most High. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished, all right? So even though this American government want to join up with the with the uh, UN and with Israel and everybody else, though hand join in hand, the whole UN is in with them. You understand? They, they condemning what they doing, but at the same time talking about they standing behind Israel. They polling America. America is 150% behind what Israel is doing, killing women and children over here in uh, Palestine, all right? Which I can get care less about, you understand, but just proving the point that this this wicked man is ruling and that the Lord it sees exactly what's going on. Everyone that is proud in in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished, alright? So this white man is gonna get what's coming to him. This so called Israeli is gonna get what's coming to him. Just like the Palestinians, just like everybody, just like the black man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian man have been getting for the last few thousand years. All right, in our slavery and our punishment, all right, they're going to get it. It's not you do not go unpunished with the Lord, man. The Lord is not slack. All right, so let's get some more. All right, and we're gonna get go on from here, and we're gonna get Isaiah chapter thirteen. We we'll get Isaiah chapter thirteen and verse starting at verse nine. All right. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 9 says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Who are the sinners that's going to get destroyed, all right? It's going to be, it's definitely going to be these other nations, these Gentile nations, as it was bringing out before, you understand? Even though hand join in hand, they shall not go unpunished. Well, guess what? They're going to be destroyed, according to verse 9. But also, those of our brothers and sisters that don't wake up, man, and change their lives, man, and do as the Lord has been commanding us since day one. You understand? All right. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. He shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right, so you want to join this white man's military? You want to go get on his front lines? Well, it's going to be destroyed, all right? And you, by being a part and be, by being confederate with this cracker, you are going down with him, all right? The Lord told us to separate ourselves. He called us to be a holy people. Holy means separate in Hebrew, you understand? So... He's calling us to be separate from all these nations, from all these people, from all of Babylon. But we just want to join it. We just want a piece of it. We think that they in the right. Though hand joining in hand, you think you're going to be down with them, man. You better wake up, black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man. Come to the, the knowledge of the truth, you understand, and change your life, man, and, and join up with your people how you're supposed to be. All right? So you don't be partakers, man. Let's get so We're going to get that, though. All right? We'll go from here. All right, and we're going to get Psalms chapter 83, all right, paramount scripture in this school, all right, Psalms chapter 83, and we're going to start at verse 12, just to bring a little bit out on this, all right, uh, matter of fact, we're going to start at verse 1, because I love this scripture, keep not thy silence O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So the Lord has enemies, and his enemies are those that hate him and do not keep his law, statutes, and commandments. 
They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the Lord's people all throughout this book called the Holy Bible? It's the children of Israel. It's the so-called blacks, native Indians, Hispanic people walking the face of the earth today. All right. Those same people are his people. And he's saying that his enemies have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against those hidden ones, against those lost 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's those hidden ones. All right. I'm going to jump around from here and I'm going to go to verse 12. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to read verse 4. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right. And so this is talking about the real children of Israel who now today, for the most part, do not know that they are the children of Israel. The Israelis, the Jewish people over there in Israel now are calling themselves that and have made us to forget who we are. You understand? But as you can see, they are Israelis. Israel by nationhood, by where they live. You understand? By their geographical position on the map. Okay? They are Jewish. They are like Jews because they made our culture and our way of life into a religion called Judaism. All right? It's a big difference. All right? So we're going to jump down to verse 12. All right? Who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. That's these Israelis. That's these so-called uh, Jewish people over here in Israel today, all right? They have taken the houses of the Most High into possession, all right? Not just there, but everywhere else in the earth as well, all right? Um, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. Oh, my God, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind, all right? And so David here is calling for them to be destroyed, man, for all the evil that they've done, man. When you read up throughout this whole chapter, it is just like reading about the UN. It's like reading the newspaper about the UN, except for this was written thousands of years ago, all right? And David is bringing out that the that these people have taken crafty counts. They have all come confederate together to keep us from knowing who we are and to keep this charade going on that they got over there. Well, guess what? The Lord is fighting for us anyway, and he's over there destroying these fools as we speak. All right, you ought to be taking this time to wake up, man, come into the school, man, and learn this history. Learn your heritage, man, and learn what your next step is in, in our kingdom coming to, to pass.